Hey, did you see the Mario Kart 8 uh, course for leak? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, check my re retweet on Twitter. I wish Twitter could go faster, cause, but it's not. Hi, Ingo. Hi, Emmett. Have you have both of you been isekai'd into the world of Splatoon? Oh, hi, Emmett. I was not expect. I thought you died in Eorzea, but uh, hey, how's it going? Everyone's favorite villain from 14, unless this is a completely different Emmett. It is a completely different Emmett. For, right, for, 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 for context, it, Ingo has a twin named Emmett, and they are both subway oh. bosses in Pokemon Black and White. Oh, the, okay. I didn't think Ingo from the Pokemon games. I thought Ingo from The Legend of Zelda. Mm -mm. See, I, Oops. I was thinking Pokemon because Legends of Arceus kind of like popped them off. Oopsie. <laughs> then again, to be fair, I don't think I played the game that Emmett and Ingo were originally from. No, because you skipped Gen 5. Yeah, black and white. Yeah, I definitely skipped it. Ha! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Don't mind me, team. I'm just looking at Twitter. Mm -hmm. I had to get to my friend's page. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Shit! Oh, I ran out of ink at the worst possible time. How'd that happen? Oh, God. Oh. Walked in front of my shot. Uh oh, oh I'm out of ink! God damn it! Fuck! <laughs> oh, now I see the reference. Okay. see here interstate 95 yeah interstate 95 north that's the next fire card dlc item oh god <laughs> i was just like wait hold on is this a reference i'm not getting what the hell wait a minute <laughs> this looks like an actual location <laughs> you son of a bitch you fucking Hooked me. <laughs> oh, shit. Got him. Uh. <laughs> Screw this. I'm going back to my mathematics on coffee beans. God damn it. <laughs> Look, every three or four years. <laughs> Which means I need to get like at least shit, uh, 16, no, um, 20, 20 trees. I need to get at least 20 trees. So that way each season produces me coffee beans. 
<laughs> I, I got it eventually. It was a lot less than 144, like I originally advertised. But if you want even more, then yeah, by all means, go. Just go by multiples of 20. Yeah, so technically 140 would get you seven loads per season. Oh, damn it. Someone got the crab. Well, actually, no. Uh, well, he... Hell, it might even be more than that if I'm just doing it like, okay, 20 trees and... Uh, oh god, the math which... is happening. Oh no. Quick, you're going based so on someone that. distract him so he doesn't do math. I mean, to be fair, I know you like your coffee. <laughs> and, and I know what you're going to like even better. Free coffee. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but there's also roasting the beans, and who knows what complex machines you need for that. I, it's a coffee maker, Frank. All you gotta do is just ground up the beans and stuff it into the mouth of a Cle coffee machine. Clearly you don't work at a coffee shop, because you don't know how beans work. No, I don't. That's why I'm just like, well, here you go. I mean, I'm talking to a master, and I'm just providing the numbers of what you could be using to get yourself a supply, a lifetime supply of coffee. Yeah, but there's also you have to roast the beans because the beans are hard and are jack shit when they yeah. they come from the fruit. I mean, hey, yeah, at least I'm getting that knowledge now. All I need to know is what the rest of the process is, and then we work from there. I'm just saying. My father had taught me a thing or two about numbers. It's all about resource management and figuring out what the fuck you're going to be using the numbers for. <laughs> I'm a mathematician, damn it. <laughs> Let me use my powers for good, and by good, I mean just good uses <laughs> the good uses being coffee <laughs> oh man I just you just what Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> Just mid maxing coffee. That's what, coffee he's, yep. <laughs> that's what he's trying to do. Look, I'm just sick. <laughs> Look, as someone who's kind of just recently gotten to the resource management, you gotta figure that shit out. Because who knows? It might actually be a damn good idea one of these days. I mean, have you seen the economy recently? I'm just saying. I gotta get myself at least 20 of these coffee trees, and every season, I, theoretically, I would be getting coffee beans. It's not gonna be on a monthly basis, granted, but I mean, hey, every season. Now, if I can get it on a monthly basis, and at that rate, I might as well just increase my uh, supply by three, which means I need 60 coffee trees. Which means, starting now, per month, I would have to buy one coffee tree. And all I got to do is just take care of them trees. And yeah, if at least once a month, one of those trees is going to give me coffee beans. I just got to know which one was which. I'll probably just post a sign being like, this one's going to be January. This one's going to be February. This one is going to be March. And probably just put them in a row. Hell if I know. I know it. <laughs> Plus, on the account, that's literally every three or four years. I mean, 
Eh, getting a multiple of five trees. Yeah, that <laughs> that work. Because there is an off chance that hey, you could get double the harvest, if not triple. Because it just depends on the tree and what it bears. I'm just saying that's a lot of coffee and a lot of profit. Either or, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Either free coffee or damn good profits. Because there's a lot of coffee lovers out there, folks. Especially nowadays, we need the coffee. Like, fuck, oh, fuck oil and all that. You know what the true uh, source of fuel is? It's coffee. I'm just saying, that's what's actually going to be fueling America. Not oil and uh, fossil fuels. Nope, it's going to be coffee. <laughs> I'd know, because I had coffee once, and then the allergies kicked my ass. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Take a look at the guy who's actually advertising his stream here. He's a coffee lover. He needs it for fuel. <laughs> True story. Plus, I... Okay, you could actually back me up on this one. Okay, for a regular cup of coffee, how much would it be? Like, 12 ounce. Where at? at where I work? Or just in general? I don't know. Uh, that... We'll say for comparing prices sake. Because, ah. I mean, first thing... <laughs> Maybe we can make more business over... <laughs> we, can, we can drive more business over where you work at. Just like, well, shit. Because I advertise where I worked at, I can actually get a raise. <laughs> Please don't do that, folks. Please, for the love of God, do not do that. Because I don't remember how much it was for, like, a cup of coffee last time I bought it. It was cheap. I remember that, but... I don't know if it's still relatively cheap nowadays. It depends on the brand and where you got it from. It, it's just... We'll say Starbucks. It was a French vanilla, just regular French vanilla. I don't even think it was really milked down all that much. Three dollars at most, maybe two. Somewhere at two or three dollars. Let's say that. Well, there we go. And let's say for one cup of coffee a day, on average, for a whole year, uh, that's well over a thousand dollars that I'd spent for coffee if I bought one each day. Now, if you just look at the coffee beans that you grew, you'd save yourself one grand. <laughs> Probably not in the year that you bought 12 trees, but you're going to save some time in the future for a thousand dollars. And again, that's just assuming that you only buy one cup of coffee a day. Now, if you down like, let's say five cups and oh boy, that's a different fucking story. Because man, 15 bucks a day times... 365 days in a year. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope the job is paying you well enough to spend like $5,000 for five cups of coffee a day. <laughs> I'm sure I turned someone, I made someone turn over a new leaf with that realization. No, I'm sure I have. Not, not you, not but. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, I'm just saying, man, the second that I realized, man, uh, just having to like, get like maybe like three snacks a day at, over at where, where I work at versus packing me a lunch. I'm saving myself a lot of money. <laughs> It's like, yeah, in a grand total of it, let's see here, for lunch meat, it's like 10 bucks for a loaf of bread, and I mean a good loaf of bread, uh, $3. Yeah, $13 for roughly a week's worth of lunch. Well, I mean, if you just make sandwiches, like if it's just a lunch meat, I mean, yeah, the lunch meat's definitely gonna outlast the loaf of bread. But that's like roughly two weeks worth of food for $13. That's why I'm counting like drinks and shit like that, but I mean, hey. 
You gotta look at the bigger picture whenever you do multiplication. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm sure I could be a math teacher if I really tried, but, uh, well, I don't do well with kids. Let's be real here. <laughs> like, I don't mind working with, like, shithead adults sometimes, but shithead kids? Oh, man, that's a whole new level of, like, I, I don't want to be here. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to say that, but then, well, subreddits literally have... Karen as a topic, and uh, oh boy, that's a whole new can of worms. I laugh at it sometimes, but oof, not in my shop, please. Anywhere but there. I just want to work here peacefully, not get splatted by someone by the name of Shadow Dusk, make my money, go home, live a peaceful life as best as I can. <laughs> Uh. Woohoo! All right. Oh hell yeah, we gotta wipe out. Let's make the best of it. Damn. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> Man, you see that little splotch over at our base? I was going to cover that. 